Okay, now <laughs> Chen, our friend, said to us, um, the specialist our, uh, about fasting and uh, diet and nutrition, yeah, he said, he's now behind the camp. He said, we have only 10 minutes left. Now I must see what we can do within yes. these 10 minutes. Yeah. First of all, Luca, your three questions, they're very nice and they fit into my next planned uh, podcast. Uh, not alone, I will do this if he has time with him, Claudio and Chen together. And this is called Is Kung Fu Done? Is Kung Fu Done? Like, is Kung Fu still working today or is it done? So, um, with the creation of MMA and BJJ coming all over the world and spreading everywhere, is Kung Fu done or has it still uh, value. its value and its uh, space and its ground? So, we want to do a talk about that. Anyway, so, and your three questions are fitting into that. So, therefore, I will use those questions also when we talk about it we bring those questions from luca okay and we go now straight directly to uh kumar yeah, yeah. so the question here is uh, first of all hello to you also kumar so i want to know your views about competitive taiji forms like yang style 42 um i think yeah, yeah. i don't know if 42 is a yang style 42 is a mixed style of five styles as I know it and 24 is a uh, young style but maybe there's also a young, young 42 style. okay yeah, yeah. then uh, what makes them different than the traditional ones can these competitive forms be used in combat if practiced with all the same proce what, procedures yeah. as we use in traditional forms yes okay now to me taiji is taiji I don't say modern or traditional, Taiji is Taiji. It's again the principles what makes it effective or not. It's not the tradition or the modern. It's not if he... Now he thinks of a movement what Chan San Feng thought 800 years ago. He, he finds out this movement now. It's the same movement. It's the same movement, it's a modern thing, it can be effective Okay, it's blinking, it will be stopped now. You, I think better you stop it. Mm -hmm. It will be effective when we use the right principles. Sorry, we needed to switch the uh, battery. Mm -hmm. Now, we really must talk fast. I hang on to the, what I said before. So, for me, Taiji is Taiji. If he thinks and made up, he made up now a movement. The same movement made, uh, was made up by Chan San Feng 800 years ago. It's the same thing. If the principles are used well, he, can, he will be able to use it, whether it is traditional or it is modern. And if you ask me, I say modern things are more useful for today than old or antique things, yeah, traditional things. Uh, so in, in, in Kung Fu, yes, traditional Kung Fu always was taught with also applications and the right principles, how to use it in combat. But this doesn't mean that modern things are not used. As I say, if the principles are there, Taiji is Taiji. There is no past, there is no future, there is only now. What I create today, this was his word. Yeah, it's tomorrow, tomorrow already tradition. Yeah, <laughs> you know, so what was... So if we say, if I would say only traditional, if I would say that only traditional martial arts Uh, you can use in combat and modern, let's say, competitive to the 42 young style, you can't use for martial arts, if I say that. Then, and when I speak about Chan San Feng's Tai Chi, or let's say Chen Wan Ting's Tai Chi, Chen Tai Chi. If I say that only tradition you can use, then I say at Chan San Feng's time, you can't use his Tai Chi. Because it's not traditional, it's just now. At his time, it was new. It was new created, so it was not traditional. So then I must say, at his time, no, he couldn't use it. How stupid is that? <laughs> you know. So if you create something now, it is useful already. From now on, it is useful. Because we see this from the traditional forms. It was useful 
when it was created new by Chan Sanfeng, but it was useful at his time when it was not a tradition. Therefore, it's now still useful if you have the principles. Therefore, everything what I made up by myself now, it's also useful. But, of course, you must have a relation to combat. You can't be a guy who have never fought in your life and don't have any knowledge of fighting and create a movement and want to use it for fight. That doesn't work. So you must have some knowledge about that and then go into that. Yeah. And competitive forms, I say, to, uh, if you ask me, are more even uh, anspruchsvoll, how to say that? Like, advanced? In a, in yeah, they are, you can say even they are more advanced and they are more difficult to master than some of the traditional forms. I don't say all traditional forms, but then some of the traditional forms. Yeah, because it gets... You know, uh, the times go further and it go like you have difficulties, levels within the forms and all that. And uh, let's say the jump kicks and everything within the Taiji. I don't do that by myself, but I'm a big admirer of that. Now, all the traditionals are against that, most of them. I am a big admirer of that. If you see a Taiji guy uh, or a girl does beautiful movement and suddenly jumps up, does a 360 or what, a 720 or mm. 540, you know, twist and land in splits. This is a great skill. This, this is, is also a, Kung Fu, yeah? Yeah, and this is a proof of body control. Yeah. And to me also, it's a proof of mind control because this guy must have controlled his mind to get there. Right, absolutely. Yeah? Yeah. This is this... For me, if you want to say something, because we don't have much time. No, say it fast. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I think you said everything. Yeah? yeah? This is like, Taiji is Taiji. This is my answer. <laughs> you know? Taiji is Taiji.